Sarah, has anyone ever been cured of HIV? Yeah, so two people in the world have been cured of HIV. Um, one person in Germany and one person in the UK. They're both men, older men, who had really complicated treatment because they were very, very sick with some other type of cancer as well as their HIV. So in all the treatments they had for their cancer, they also had special treatments that would also get rid of the HIV virus. They were very, very sick, and it's certainly not a treatment that we would be able to give or even should give to anybody else who just has HIV who's on, on their antiretroviral therapy. But it does show us some very interesting things in that it shows us it's actually possible to cure HIV, which is something that lots of researchers thought was never going to be able to happen. We don't think that's something that we want to offer to anybody at the moment, but it, we've learned a lot from it and um, it's helped us with our research for other options. So why is HIV so hard to cure? So HIV is a virus, it's a tiny particle, we can't see it, and it gets into our body through all the different ways that we know that people can become infected, from uh, pregnant mothers to their babies, from people who have um, unprotected sex with somebody who may or may not know they have HIV, where they have virus particles that can pass from one person to another. This virus hides inside some of the cells inside of our body, and our body is made up of lots of lots of different types of cells. But there are certain cells in the body that live really for the rest of our lives, and they don't change. And if those cells get infected with the HIV virus, they stay there quietly like that for the rest of that person's life. And even though medicines for HIV stop new virus particles being made, those cells that have HIV hiding inside them, which we call the HIV reservoir, can live for the rest of that person's life. And when the medicines stop, virus can come out of those cells and cause virus in the blood again. So, if taking medicines every day can keep HIV asleep, are there any new ways coming along or in research that might also keep HIV asleep, but mean we don't have to take pills every day? So our medicines for HIV are extraordinary. They, they have really revolutionised the survival of anybody living with HIV. Um, but they do, at the moment, need to be taken as a tablet. One tablet, two tablets, every single day. And then the virus is very good at sneaking out from underneath the medicines and growing again if people don't manage to take them every day, or they forget, or they have side effects that they can't manage to stick with them. So what we've looked at is using exactly the same chemical drugs that are in the tablets that you're taking every day, but to give them to you in a different way. And there have been experimental um, tests at the moment in trials of giving those medicines as an injection. At the moment, we can give the same kind of drugs that you're taking in tablets as an injection every month. And they're hoping to make that so that you could have an injection every three months. Now, injections aren't for everybody, but for those people who struggle with tablets, this might be a really good way of making sure that the virus stays asleep and it would mean you don't have to take tablets at all anymore. And then there's new types of treatment, some of which are called broadly neutralizing antibodies, which also attack the HIV virus so that it doesn't grow anymore. And those medicines can be given as a, as a drip into a vein in your arm, so you would need to go into hospital to have them. And these are all very much in research trials, so we don't absolutely know that that's the right treatment for everybody. But at the moment, it looks like one drip of these um, antibodies might last for up to about six to nine months. During that time, you wouldn't need to take your tablets. So it's looking very exciting that there are new ways for us to give the medicines that you're taking at the moment as a tablet that will do the same job to keep that virus asleep. But what we really, really do know, and it's important to remember, is whilst there's lots of research going on now to look at different ways of keeping the virus asleep and maybe one day to even cure HIV, the absolute best way to keep yourself healthy right now is to stay on your medicines. Thank you very much.